Dan, after more than two years in the dark, the lights are on at the Monterey Conference Center and look at all these people. They're here for the first conference held at this center since the renovation got started. The conference center feels alive again. The doors are open and there are people inside. Is this not exciting? We've been waiting a long time for this to happen. For the first time in two years, a conference is happening in the downtown space. How well are you doing this? It's a big group too, with about 1,800 people in town for the labor conference. Now, unfortunately, we only have half the building. Uh, the other half, the second floor, is not open yet. But we get, did get temporary occupancy to host their program. Uh, for the next three days. The center's neighbors, the Portola Hotel and Spa, are also happy to see the $60 million project finally coming to completion. And to actually be open and feel some normalcy, it's, it's amazing. The hotel occupancy tax fund paid for the city-run project, and general manager of the Portola, Janine Chakorat, says it's going to increase business in Monterey. One of the best things about being a convention hotel is people stay longer, they don't get in their cars, they don't impact our um, they don't impact the community as much as you know the day traveler and it's just it's it's a great customer to have in terms of buying retail eating in our restaurants etc quite a bit of work still needs to be done the second floor with its beautiful skylight needs to be finished but workers are now on an expedited schedule and hope to get it all done by the end of the month we have been anticipating the acceleration of the project for quite a while but it was i think really the push to get this done or at least the first floor done for Cal Palra because we had no other alternative for them. If everything goes as planned and stays on schedule, which it hasn't for the last year, then they'll be done by 2018 and have a grand opening in January. Dan. Very good. Thank you very much, Caitlin. That conference center can hold 3,000 people in its two ballrooms alone, and then there are the, uh, the, the other rooms. The center can easily accommodate conferences of 2,000 or many more.